everybody, Nick Moon here, uh, deep in the Tone Proper bunker once again. I'm here with two of my favorite pieces of equipment, the Antelope Galaxy 32 and the Midas Heritage D, which I waited oh so long to get my clammy hands on it. So I'm super excited about this. So while we're doing this whole series on Antelope Synergy Core, I thought it'd be a really great idea to use these new FPGA processors, which are phenomenally fast, uh, real-time effects, and they're great plugins. Use them in a live setting. Uh, depending on what console you're on, obviously the Heritage D is not short on processing power. Uh, we're gonna use it as an example because it's here and I love it. But if you're using uh, any other console where you want a little bit more processing, maybe you wanna use uh, Auto-Tune, which they have in real time for your uh, background singers or your lead vocalist, uh, all that stuff is available. And instead of just doing another interface in the studio and testing out mic pre's and all that boring stuff, uh, these things, we already know they sound really great. So why not talk about using the uh, processing power in a live environment? So let's dive into using the Antelope Synergy Core DSPs in a live environment. So how do we have this set up? Right now we're using Dante. Our Midas Heritage D uh, has a Dante card in it. We have a MacBook Pro running Pro Tools, also via Dante, virtual sound card. Uh, very good uh, investment, by the way. And we also have the Galaxy uh, running via Dante. And we have the AFX engine uh, up on another screen. My only complaint, I'll just kind of say right up front, is um, I'm used to using like waves and sound grid and all that stuff. Having the uh, layout on the screen a little bit better uh, so we could have another large monitor here and we could see all of our AFX. Uh, hopefully that'll come out in a different firmware version, but that is important to be able to quickly see visually what plugins you have where. Uh, so I'll make that as a, a little note to the uh, to the folks that be at Antelope. So right now we're playing back through Pro Tools into the console. On the console, we are using the inserts. So the inserts are activated on all of these channels and we have the inserts running back through Dante into the AFX cores and back through. So by turning the insert button on and off on your console, you'll be able to hear the effect on and off or there's a bypass button on there. So I'm gonna hit play on my Pro Tools track. Obviously, if this was a live environment, you'd have all your uh, IO coming in, uh, but because we don't wanna have uh, uh, a rock band uh, in the background, <laughs> we're gonna use uh, Dante Virtual Sound Card with Pro Tools and we're gonna hit play to our rock track. So in this situation, we are using inserts on our Midas Heritage D. Uh, but obviously if you wanted to like, let's say just use the reverb, let's say you're using a console that doesn't have a great built-in reverb, uh, you can of course use auxes, um, you can use an analog or Dante. We're using Dante again because it's super flexible. Uh, we can keep it all in the digital domain that way. Um, so let's go ahead and just add an effect onto a track. So I'll, uh, I'll cue up the kick just for fun. So here's what I have on kick and snare. So if I go over to my AFX, and go to insert one, that's my kick. I have our uh, awesome FET limiter here, and we also have a really cool EQ. And I'll kind of show you some of the frequencies, some of the frequencies that I'm uh, removing here. And on the snare, uh, we have another uh, tube uh, limiting amplifier with a BA BAE 1073, uh, some of my favorites from Studio World. Uh, some of the the amount of effects that you have here are, are pretty pretty remarkable. You can see you've got a whole bunch of the mic pre-emulations. Um, you've got a bunch of classic compressors um, from various famous manufacturers, uh, EQs, and a bunch of other really great reverbs and whatnot. I'm not gonna get into the argument of using Auto-Tune live, but we, uh, we have it and we are gonna use it. So we've got a singer here on input number 16. And so if I go over to my AFX engine and go over to FX16, you can see I've got uh, auto-tune running. I've also got uh, the reverb. You can hear auto-tune and you can hear the stay level, which is one of my favorites as well. All right, so let's grab the bass. So all I need to do here is I know that I'm on, uh, I'm on track 12 and I'm gonna add an effects these vintage compressors. Um, of course, you can set all your stuff there. And then, of course, I, I really like myself a Poltec style EQ. The Neve is not very good. Let's see. 
you can't go wrong with, with some of these guys. Give you a little more body. And there you go, it's just that easy. And of course you've got uh, quite a few slots per. And it just keeps, keeps on going. Hey, thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this video on the very flexible Synergy Core series of products and how they can be used in a live and studio environment. We'll have a bunch more videos coming out uh, for Antelope and for the Midas Heritage D. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. That really helps us out and you'll get notifications on new videos which will be coming out shortly. And visit ToneProper.com to learn more about us and how we can support you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.